Now, as this has formally been declared a terrorist incident, investigators will be anxious to find out as quickly as possible whether there are any other persons of interest out there, people that may have had knowledge of what this suspect was planning, people that may have offered material help to this suspect in carrying out this attack, and indeed any person that might be planning a similar attack going forward. And while the police and security services don't know that. There are now urgent steps underway. Police forces across the country contacting local politicians, MPs, to offer them advice and support as they plan their security in the public sphere. Different, of course, around Westminster and government buildings where there already is a high degree of security in place, but it's here in constituencies where MPs often come face to face as they want to do with members of the public as they are engaging with the electorate. That's when, of course, they are potentially most at risk. So police forces will be reviewing the security of MPs, looking to see whether there are any sort of practical steps that can be offered to help those members of parliament increase that security in a meaningful way.